Hey guys, it's Frosty Tech here today with an all new video and today I'm gonna showing you another fix and this is also available on my website. So do make sure to subscribe and like and thanks for watching. So let's get started. So today we'll be doing a fix on how you can speed up WWE 2K16, remove all the issues and all the problems that are causing the game. So let's get started. So the first of all is what that WWE 2K16 requirements are just as the same as were in WWE 2K15. If you search it out. 2K16, we can find our system requirements. And if you want to here on 2K website, or you can just go to gamedbl.com or you can find out whatever you want. So if you see it under the 2K16 on Game Debate, you see that last year's the 2K16 specs will be very similar to last year's 2K15. So as comparison, only this has been increased, which is the maybe the no not the graphic card only the graphic card has been increased and nothing else is all just same and if you come to 2k's website you can see the perimeter and whatever requirements has been asked so in just case of this we're gonna start up solving in our cases so first of all all you need to do is to go to w2k16 in documents and this configuration file and make sure it's read only in my case i'm not doing so if you want you can now here on fxa you need to make sure that's off msa off and turn vsync on we want resynchronization on because we do not want the slow motion issue and audience density is up to you how you want it motion blur is the optional feature that have been uh, showed up in w2k16 i think it wasn't in 2k15 that's why it caused the two motion blur error and texture quality you can turn it off and resolution is up to you and the best thing which you can do do not change this to 60 fps or 60 and make sure it's not read only because in my case what I did is really only caused a lot of more issues, so I didn't thought of doing so. And the best thing you can do is to play the really 2K16 in minimized mode, or you can say in windowed mode because we do not want it full screen. Okay, so my d this file, which is configuration file, is down below in the description. You can download it from there. And yes, it is available for you all free. Yes, that's not an issue. So the next thing that you can do is use to create a virtual RAM, which I've shown here on this video you can just watch it out and see that if you want so don't know it because it helps a lot and uh, make sure to create that virtual ram and then open up w2k16 so the next thing which we can do is to put a pc in performance mode how you can do that simply go to control panel and type in advanced and then finally putting a pc in best performance will do the work and that's gonna do the work. I already configured it all. And then last thing we'll be going to do the two decision properties, compatibility, and do make sure for all the setting up changes, just make sure to run this program as much as And one of the issues which all faces is that it opens a little late. So do not worry for that. So the last thing which you're gonna do is solve the slow or low FPS error. So let me open it to the 2K16. It's open a little really lot slow, so we're gonna do a little bit struggle okay so i'm gonna pause the video till it opens up okay so the game's open it takes a little bit of while so here i'm having cheat engine the latest version or might not be the latest so i need you to download this it's given below in the description just go to uh means uh, select this uh, green up icon and click on it and select wwe2k16 and open it up now go back to wwe2k16 and wait till it opens up to the main menu just press any button, wait for online synchronization. Okay, so let's go back here in Cheat Engine and select that. We are already hooked up. Let's go to enable speed hack and change it to 2 or something you want, but in my case, I will only change it to 2 and apply and go back. Why I told you to do so is that was a reason. That if you go back here on options and graphic settings, you can see the things are as you wanted. But if you change that to 60 and uh, lock that up and make this read that read only, then what will you will you be experiencing? It will be a lot worse. That the whole ring turns black and all that. Let me show you how the gameplay is. The main problem which we are getting here is that if you change the arena, this becomes damn slow to select it up. Kind of like so, you see. So let's start the match.
the loading is pretty much good and I turned the entrance off because entrance is a bit laggy if you are doing so but the gameplay would be perfectly good if you are adjusting things and if they go good like kind of so. up with Seth Rollins they must be prepared to endure attacks from all angles Rollins has perfected the fighting style that's been described as a frantic assault you can see the game isn't lagging that much but it holds pretty, pretty much good at things go I'm using a gamepad and a controller here, a PS2, not be a PS2, but I'm using a gamepad controller. Will this pay off? Could be faster <coughs> famine. Oh man, from the high rent district. I would know what that's like. Makes the cover. Yeah, he's gonna not gonna stay. So that was good for today. You can do the same for yourselves, and all the things are gonna remain the same. Maybe, but at the time you're gonna exit the game, the PC might be a bit slow, but it's gonna start off with the same settings. Do not. Yes, again, I'm saying, to make sure that you do not make that file read only, because making that read only, you're gonna experience a lot of more glitches and issues. So that was it for today. Make sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Frosty Tech, and I'm sending out.